Good evening, my name is Amber Scott and this is my social media part two with sports communication with Dr. Martinez. So tonight I'm going to be evaluating uh, the social media strategy that is the ISSA, International Sports Science Association, and or more so their lack thereof. Uh, my two organizations that I evaluated in part one are on an equal level, so I will be evaluating ISSA just because they have such a lack in their social media presence that they are the ones that would need a boost as opposed to ACE, the American Council on Exercise. Uh, so for the first one, uh, we're going to look at Facebook. Facebook is probably the most prominent social media platform out there as of now. Uh, I definitely took over from MySpace. And as you can see in this first slide, this is the, the Facebook page for ISSA. Uh, they have about almost 9,000 likes, which compared to ACE is not comparable at all. ACE has about five times this number. Uh, so you can see that they have a good beginning, but when you look closer at their actual postings and um, commenting, they post once every uh, four months or so. Uh, they literally posted three times in this last 2013 year. Uh, they are really quick with responding to posts by others. Uh, they usually get back within the same day, but they could definitely use more of a presence in their posting. Uh, people who are going to like their page want to know what's going on with the company, what's the newest and latest greatest thing going on in sports and fitness. So if they were to post more, they would probably have a lot more likes. As you can see uh, right here on this screen, this is the post by others, they get back with questions and comments the same day. So they're really good on that aspect. So they are there on the Facebook page, they're just not utilizing all the tools that are available to them. Uh, when you reflect what ACE does on their page, you can see that they're posting multiple times a day. They're engaging their audience and keeping them informed with everything that's happening. Okay, so next up we have Pinterest. Pinterest is relatively new and used to be a invite only. However, they do have a Pinterest for business. This would allow any business to go in there and start up their own Pinterest page and being that people are pinning ideas, whether it's for their own fitness, for their New Year's resolution, they're going to be looking for different pins that are tagged appropriately and Ace is doing an outstanding job and ISSA needs to catch up. So as you can see, this is the Ace Pinterest page and they have so many different boards. How to become an A certified pro, motivation and inspire, which is a huge thing. People are posting all over, not only Pinterest, but on Facebook as well. Uh, they have their healthy recipes folder, ACE running, workouts and exercise, so on and so forth. As you can see, they have about 2,600 followers. ISSA is non-existent on Pinterest. ISSA could learn a lot from the ACE, Council, uh, the ACE, American Council on Exercise, just by how present they are on the social media. Uh, their first step would be to go in and update their Facebook page. Their Facebook page should be taken care of first because that's their primary media communication right now as far as the social media is concerned. Next, I would say maybe get into a Pinterest account but something that would be even more helpful for them is going to be YouTube. YouTube has been around for a while and would be the, the second best thing that ISSA could leap into. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the, the ACE page, their YouTube page, and uh, they post about once a week or at least multiple times in a month. They constantly have new things coming up, whether it's TRX, the Tabata, uh, skinny jean workouts, previews for their uh, various courses, 
um, continuing to serve with the military and everything, they're really engaging all aspects of their audience. And ISSA could really take advantage of this social media platform and get their certifications out there, get the types of exercises and training that they're trying to uh, give out to the public in this manner. Uploading videos of their actual trainers performing some of these would help heighten their business, not only in the consumer's eyes, but also in that wannabe pro's eyes when they're searching for these personal training certifications online. Another avenue of social media that they could partake in, which I would suggest that they do later on after they've established a Facebook uh, or a better standard of their Facebook, and then maybe did a YouTube, would be Twitter. Twitter has become very popular, not only with the, the consumers, but also with celebrities. This allows uh, businesses and people to just Twitter or say a little spat of information at random times throughout the day. Uh, they can do contests on here. They can have uh, Q&As. They can do uh, contests, what have you. Uh, but it is just another little site that people do like to use. This one right here is the ACE page. And like I said, ISSA is severely lacking. They don't even have a Twitter page. Uh, so as you can see, ACE is very prominent here as well. They have about 32,000 followers and they're constantly tweeting. Every day they have multiple, at least one tweet, but most days they have multiple tweets. Uh, and they do everything from, is this you? Ask yourself this question. Here are some common myths, myths and misconceptions. They're really engaging their, their overall audience. Aside from that, uh, I would just tell ISSA that they need to step up on the ball. The, the way that the world works right now, it really does revolve around the social media. And for them to have nothing but a Facebook page that they post two, three times a year is going to hurt them in the long run. They might not be aware of how to use it right now, or they might not see the need for it, but realistically, this is a train that's going to keep on going. If they don't jump on, they will be left behind. Getting on it now is going to be better than nothing. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation as far as evaluating and coming up with ways that ISSA can improve their presence in the social media. And I hope you have a great evening.